Hello guys, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome back to a brand new tutorial on video production. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you through, it's not actually a tutorial, so I'm just going to go through, it's like a more like a walkthrough to the, to the process, to the, what I did on how to accomplish the Avengers that I recently released a teaser, uh, I believe two weeks ago or maybe one week ago. So I should have posted this uh, video uh, sooner, but uh, I was sick, so and I'm still sick. So uh, let us just let us just see what we are going to be creating. Amazing, right? It took me a lot of time. It took me a lot of effort. And sadly, many of you guys uh, try to uh, search for a tutorial on this, but they couldn't find. Uh, all they found was a template by some users, and unfortunately, those templates were not for free. So, as a gift from me to you, I will be going through this as fast as possible. I'm not going to do it from scratch, so it's like a semi-tutorial, but in the end, uh, you will get your hands on my ultra HD 4k template that's right you will get it in 4k and for free but all I ask in return guys is that you like comment and share it share it to as many people as you can and more importantly just hit that subscribe button because this channel depends on you guys the more you support me the more I'll be able to provide you with high quality contents, with high quality tutorials, because these things cost a lot, especially that I'm doing tutorials on both video production and music production, so that costs a lot in terms of plugins, in terms of third uh, party softwares, etc. So, let us skip the advertisement now and just go through this. So, what's the idea? The idea first is to have that big. Uh, the A, the, a uh, le the first letter of the Avengers, which is A, only the A letter is shown here in the background, which considered to be the symbol of the Avengers. Uh, so this is the so this is the beginning of the video. We have the A in the background, and it will stay like that. Or first it starts dark, and with a little uh, shiny, glowy gold bevels or, or edges. And they have some, uh, you know, lens flare that are going through them, uh, so that gives extra detail, and and they will remain like that. So see the. Uh, let us just switch with uh, to half resolution. See, so we have the flares are moving right, the lens are moving. And then uh, the A logo keeps itself dark as much as possible. And it just stays there in the background while the foreground, which is our main text, the Avengers, slightly uh, turns on. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So the, the, the big letter on the background, it just remains you know remains dark with no light uh, you know this is just to keep it in the background so it won't inter interfere with the main text the main attraction all right it's just there to provide you know to spice everything up and to provide extra beauty to the title sequence <clears throat> okay so that's the idea of the background letter a so as for those lens flares, I've used uh, the, the optical flares from Video Copilot. That's it, nothing else. I've used two here uh, with random settings like opa random opacity, random uh, brightness, random scale, whatever. Okay. And for the letter A, uh, I've, uh, I've used just a random uh, Avengers uh, symbol logo that I was able to find in the internet and will be with the template as well. Don't worry, you won't have to search for it. And uh, you have to trace the image. So you have uh, two ways to trace the image. Either you use the built-in auto trace uh, of After Effects, 
or you can use the more advanced uh, image tracing feature which is only available in uh, uh, Adobe Illustrator okay uh, I've used Adobe Illustrator to get a, the, the most perfect accurate uh, image tracing <clears throat> and that's it for the tracing as for let us see as for the texturing uh, I'll go to which I named it the 3d symbol as for the texturing I have only used two bevels so we have our main bevel and our second bevel the second bevel is just acting as the edge which has which uh, has a gold texture I've only used the gold texture that comes with the element 3d the standard one as for the main texture which covers the entire object it was actually taken from pro shaders 2 you need to purchase that uh, separately from video copilot as well actually element 3d without pro shaders is worthless uh, in my opinion <clears throat> okay so yeah i've only used two bevels now <coughs> sorry <clears throat> i'm still sick uh this is for the a letter and in order to get that you know that very dark uh light uh, I had to use the light influence up to 75 because at first it was 25 it was 25 so at 25 there was a little light still going on here so I wanted to go all the way to 75 maybe 100% too much you know you can start at 100% looks good so uh, but for the sake of the tutorial I'll stick to 75 and you can always play with the environment until you get that good in uh, until you get that you know it, it depends on your taste you know how much you want it to look the a letter okay so um, yeah as for the environment if you know which environment that I've used um, I've used uh, the uh, which one which environment that I used this one yeah Actually, guys, I'm not going to go through every detail or every step that I've done because I leave that to you to study the, the template. After all, you are going to get a free template, right? So I need to go through all the stuff again. So I'm just going to give you the general idea that I have how I thought about it. So first, you construct the background. You work on it. You make sure it works perfectly with the uh, matches uh, the original sequence in the trailer so that's it as uh, as for the dark image in order to get that you'll have to play with the lighting a little bit and um, and you have to play with the curves even the curves have been keyframed the curves have been keyframed from the start of the video until the end of the video all right and i've enabled some glow i've enabled some glow in order to push those goldy edges uh, so it be, so it become really good and blend very well with uh, with the with the lens flares makes a little bit of difference you know detail is always important so that's for the a letter as for our main attraction was which is the 3d text for the 3d text you can always use uh, in my template I already have uh, the Avengers logo you can do the same thing you can uh, auto trace it or just go to Adobe Illustrator to trace it perfectly uh, this is for the Avengers logo and once it is done you can just type any uh, text you want it doesn't have to be the Avengers logo so for the sake of this tutorial let us write something for example new text and uh, what what do we want perhaps maybe i will write stars magic stars magic yeah, i can't see anything so white stars magic that's the name of my company so let us shut this down and we go to the 3d text and we go to um so where is it custom layers we switch from the Avengers logo so this is another feature in element 3d in order to use the image that you traced as a reference uh, to this 
<coughs> you go to the custom layers and you select whatever image a trace that I have that you have done here we select Avengers logo this is the Avengers logo you can see it this is the Avengers logo that I've traced using Adobe Illustrator right so you can just use it as a reference image and make sure you turn it off and for the th text I'll be switching from the Avengers logo to stars magic and let us see how the magic happens so this is my logo. I know it looks messed up. It needs to be played with a little bit. Maybe, yeah, the particle. Let's say 20. Oh shit. 20. Maybe 30. Yeah. It looks... <laughs> I mean, you can write anything you want. Just need to play with it a little bit. Of course, you need to adjust it a little bit more. So, uh... Yeah, anyways, let's get back to our Avengers logo. So as for the texture of this Avengers, you can see the ones that I've used, how many bevels that I had to use. Let us see. Wow, I've used four bevels to accomplish this. So let us this break this down. Yeah, from here you can see it better. First, we have this bevel, the orange texture and then we have this bl black edge and on top we have uh, sorry the gold uh, edge on top uh, sort of uh, like a gold cover and then we have our uh, background bevel which has this really uh, bloodish color so we use four bevels and all these textures were used from the same uh, folder which is pro shaders except for the gold edges they are just built in inside of Element 3D. All right. As for the Infinity War, I had to use a special font, which comes with the. Uh, uh, sorry, it is in, in Adobe Fonts Market, and since I'm already subscribed to uh, to the cloud, so I'm able to grab that font, which is what is it? Um, Yes, this one. Aviano, I believe, that is how it's spelled. Uh, this is the font that I was able to grab from uh, Adobe, uh, you know, type kit. So if you're subscribed to the, to the, to Adobe Creative Cloud, you'll be able to grab the fonts, which, which is really, really worth it. You mean, you, you will get very high professional uh, industry fonts. So I was able to find uh, this font, which is used in the Avengers, and uh, there you go. This is the Inf Infinity War. So I've used it here. As for the lines uh, below and above, I just you know this is this is what I used. It's not a big deal. Okay, you can just uh, you can just write down uh, underscore and play with the scaling until you have that uh, until it, try to stretch it along and then import it into Element Three D to create it. So we have this. The main text, the background, and this is the top subtext, the, the 3D subtext. Okay, uh, how many bevels that we use? I believe we only used two bevels. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing else much to it. There's not even textures, just color. No texture. All right. I don't. I didn't think it was worth putting some textures. So, anyways, so. Um, yeah that's it so the first what i did is the image logo keeps going the the background keeps going and then slowly we have uh the, the main text starts to appear so but all you see is those gold edges which i was able to i was able to pull this trick using the curves so when we go to the 3d text i was able to pull this trick using the curves here in the curves I lowered everything down as much as possible so I can only have those gold edges pops out. All right, to make everything like the light is turned off, to make every to make everything like it's uh, it's it's dark. So we slowly reveal the the main text, and what re and what reveals the main text is this lens flare from uh, optical flares from video copilot. So I have to coordinate or sync this with the opacity, with how the curves are acting, with everything. So it really took me some time to coordinate it perfectly, 
and yeah the more the 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 lens flare increase the more the text starts to reveal itself until it possibly reaches here this is where it's fully revealed itself and then the lens flare starts to fade out again but uh, fortunately the text is already shown up and revealed with all its orangey powerful detailed texture as for the subtext uh, it doesn't appear at the start it appears later after the main text appears so first the main text uh, the leading actor and then the supporting actor comes next so the main te sorry the subtext comes after the the main text reveal itself fully so yeah right around here the subtext starts to reveal itself along with the marvel studio logo so as the main text is about to finish revealing itself the subtext starts to reveal itself and there's a lot uh, another lens flare going now behind just a little just to add a little a bit of uh, randomness and creativity to uh, to this yeah so uh, I don't think I have anything else to say it's honestly when you when you start to work on it from scratch you know it's hard you need to think about every step in, in order to match the original title but once finished you say hey man th that was just you know that was easy you know there's nothing hard about it there's no tricks over here so yeah that's the point uh, I mean it's always hard at first but after you finish you feel like it's easy and that you've done a great job so uh, so that's it for the for today's tutorial I don't I don't think I have anything else to say I'm sorry if I annoyed me annoyed you with my voice I'm a little bit sick and I keep coughing all the time <coughs> and uh, hopefully I will release uh, future tutorials on video productions and music productions once I have the time but please guys in order to keep going forward you have that you have to, to subscribe to my channel you have to share my videos as much as possible like I said at the start of this video the more uh, the more people uh, people support me the more I'll be able to provide high quality contents for you and and maybe some reviews in the future reviews on you know plugins maybe or software or whatever so uh, yeah that's all I have for now and uh, yeah Thanks for watching my video. Bye-bye.